In this class, we are going to learn how we can move a message or an email in our mailbox from one folder to another folder. Like suppose if we are having a mail in an inbox or draft folder, we will learn how we can move this from this folder to a subfolder or any folder within the mailbox with the help of Microsoft Graph API. I am here in the official documentation page by Microsoft on using Microsoft's Graph API. On from the table of content, we need to traverse to the messages, which is part of this mail. And if you click on this move message, which is the topic under this message, you will get the documentation for moving a message with the help of Graph API. Now here, there are few details provided by Microsoft. You can have a look at this. Main focus of interest while using any Graph API is the permission. You have to make sure you add the appropriate permissions to your app, which you have registered on your Azure portal. If you are not sure how to register the application, how to generate a secret value, how we can add these permissions, we have covered in detail about all those things in our classes earlier. Please check out those classes if you are not sure how to add those things. I am making use of my personal Microsoft account that is Outlook.com. So, I am adding this permission mail.readwrite. You can add this permission as per your requirement like if you are using an application or work or school address. Now, if I scroll down, Microsoft has provided a sample over here which we can use as per our requirement. So, we will be using this one as we are making use of a delegated personal mail account. HTTP method we need to use post and the request header we are having over here. Authorization, it's obviously Auth 2.0 which it supports. We had seen in detail earlier as well. Like we had seen in the case of copying a message from one folder to another folder in which we had seen how to provide this destination ID. Destination ID is nothing but it is the ID or the unique reference for any folder. Like every message is having a unique ID, every folder within a mailbox is associated with a unique ID. So, I will show you at high level how we have to get the unique ID of a folder. Now, if I scroll down, Microsoft has provided a sample over here which we need to make use if you are making use of Postman client or making use of this API programmatically in order to move a message from one folder to another folder. Now, here in the URL, one thing we need to make sure is the HTTP method is pushed and in the URL, there is a path parameter or a template parameter we need to populate over here. So, between the message and the move, we need to provide the unique ID of a mail. Now, we are going to consider moving this mail from draft to inbox 01. Now, if I show you inbox 01, it's empty right now. If you look at the body for this post request, destination ID, here we need to populate the ID of this inbox 01, that is the destination folders ID. So, without wasting much time, let's begin with our hands-on. I am here in the postman client. I have already created a move message request over here in the postman, wherein I have populated the ID for our message, that is draft message, which I have shown over here. This is the ID for that message. And in the destination, I have provided the unique ID for this inbox 01. We had seen how to get those things earlier in our copy message class. At high level, I will tell you once again, in order to get the ID of a message, we had seen, we can make use of this list messages graph API. So, from the response, apart from other properties, the first property what we get for any email is this ID. We can make use of this and populate over here. That is between message and the move. This is the unique ID of our mail. Next thing is, with the help of this list mail folders graph API. So, in detailed documentation is provided over here under mail folders. You can just expand and click on this list mail folder that is documented over there. So, with the help of this API, we will be getting the IDs for parent folders. Parent folders, if you ask what are those, then those are the inbox, junk email, draft, sent item, deleted item, archive, node, conversation. Those are the parent. Now, inbox 01 is a subfolder that is I have created within this inbox. So, in order to get the details or the ID for that subfolder, we need to make use of this list child folders. So, once you get the ID of your inbox, that is if I show at the high level, this is the ID for inbox. We have to create one more call in order to fetch the child folders ID. So, in the API between the mail folder and child folders, we need to provide the ID of the inbox folder that they have provided over here. So, when we click, we will be getting the ID or the details of all the subfolder present within the inbox. Currently, within inbox, I am having only one folder that is inbox 01. So, this is the ID for that. We need to copy. Now, we, we will go back to this move message request. So, in the destination ID, we have to provide the inbox 01's ID, which we get with this list mail child folders graph API. So, the same thing we need to provide. So, destination ID is nothing but the ID of the folder where we are going to move. As the name suggests destination ID, it is the ID of the destination folder. 
and in the message that is after message and before move we need to provide the id of a mail like this draft message is having a unique id that which we got with the help of this list messages graph api same thing we have to provide once you populate all the details click on this send so we will get a response or the status as 201 created which means it has moved the message from draft to the destination folder now here if you see under drafts it's not showing anything let me click on the inbox now it has moved our message from draft to inbox 01 so like this with the help of move messages graph api we can move a message from one folder to another folder this will be very helpful if you are creating a bot or automation wherein you are creating a program which will read the message continuously or at regular intervals your inbox and it will move a message after reading to a deleted folder or any other subfolders which you create so that you will always pull a inbox folder for a new message. So there are n number of possibilities what we can achieve with the help of those graph APIs. So you can use as per your business requirement.